Butcher. Mr. Butcher is a New York Times bestselling author of the Codex Alera series and the Dresden File series. And he joins us this evening to discuss his latest addition to the Dresden Files, Ghost Story. Publishers Weekly has called the series superlative, and Booklist has said of the author, he spins an excellent, nourished detective yarn in a well-crafted and supernaturally charged setting. So won't you please join me in welcoming Jim Butler. <laughs> yeah. Class, if you will turn your books to page. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not a podium person. Uh, that's the issue here. Uh, okay, um, I was gonna, instead of doing a reading or anything like that, I thought we could just uh, skip straight to the question and answers, because that's the fun part. Uh, uh, plus, I think everybody, or probably most of you have already read it, uh, what there was. So. <laughs> but Q and A is that is that cool? Q and A. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. But but for it to work, one of you has to ask a question. Or work. Uh, all right, right here. Is Harry right or left handed? He's a righty. <laughs> Did, was it on his right arm? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> he probably should have been trying to cut a left-handed then, should he? Yeah. All right, I, think that, I think that explains itself. Yeah. Right over here. What happened to the other Harry ghost from Grave Peril? The, what happened to the other Harry ghost from Grave Peril? That was the ghost that uh, 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 was created actually for a purpose, fulfilled that purpose, and then was no longer able to, or, or was no longer uh, trapped there. Uh, and so it just sort of piffed. Okay. <laughs> yeah, piffed. I, I really just should have said that. Poof. That's it. Anyway. When are we going to hear more about Drakes and Dragons? When are we going to hear more about? Drakes, Dragons. Drakes, Dragons? Yeah. Oh, the Dragon Dragons. dragons. Like Faravaxes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. When are we going to hear more about Dragons? Yeah. Um, uh, Faravax will probably come in real late in the case books, and uh, uh, we'll, we might see some dragon action about that. Okay. Um, I've got a good idea for it, and, and it, it, is, it, is, it is suitably cool. <laughs> but we'll, we'll get there at some point. I hope so. I'll be terribly disappointed if it isn't. And, and everyone will yell at me on Twitter. <laughs> Are you ever going to do a book through Michael Carpenter's perspective? Am I ever going to do a book from Michael Carpenter's perspective? Probably not. Um, I, I suppose it's possible we could go back that way. A, a short story from his, his perspective is more likely. Um, but uh, I don't know that I'd ever write a whole book that way. I did have the kind of an idea that, it, it, uh, you know, if I ever have to pay off my gambling debts or something, <laughs> you know, I might be able to do like a spin-off series uh, 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 centered around the, the, the Knights of the Cross, but, you know, uh, uh, it's not something I have planned out hard and fast yet. But, you know, Michael got his honorable retirement, you know, without dying, and he's, he's fairly happy with the way things are. <laughs> What about Murphy? What about Murphy? <laughs> oh, would I write a book from her, her perspective? Probably not a book, but I'd be happy to do some more stories. Uh, and it, also, I, if there's ever like a spin-off series where I just grab characters and told things from their point of view, that might be fun. Uh, uh, but, but at the moment, it's really nice. Did you just, did you just go, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, 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 but at the moment, I kind of need time away uh, uh, from the Dresden Files after I finish a book, because by the time I get to the end of a book, I'm like, I am so sick of you, Harry Dresden. <laughs> I could just shoot you dead. <laughs> okay. uh, right Did you cackle maniacally when you, fit in the, you wrote the, the end of changes? Did I cackle maniacally at the end of changes? <laughs> yes. Uh, for like 30 minutes. <laughs> You know, probably all the way until I found somebody to read it and then scream. <laughs> and then I could go to bed. Uh, because, as you know, uh, writers do not truly exist upon the royalties they receive for their work, but upon your pain and suffering. He <laughs> 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 once uh, said that we're Codex Alary, he put together Lost Legions and Pokemon. Are you putting anything else together to come up with other series? Um, uh, he's, he's referring to the story about how I tell everybody how I made the Codex, the Codex Alera out of the Lost Roman Legion of Pokemon. Um, and am I doing something like that for any, any, for any other series? No, I haven't really uh, um, 
thrown together any like really you know sort of semi lame ideas uh, uh, to make something cool. I've, I've tried to go with cool ideas. Although the more I think about it, the more I think maybe I really do need to try the lame ideas because heck, it's been working so far. <laughs> you know, if it's not broke, maybe I shouldn't fix it. I don't know. Uh, right here, with the beard. Um. Oh yeah, I have a beard. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's new. Uh, will we be seeing more from the Codex Alera world? Will we be seeing more from the Codex Alera world? It was questioned. Um, if we do, it'll be a couple of generations after the story we've had so far, uh, where you get to see how uh, Tavi's basically wrecked the status quo completely. Um, and uh, it'll be much steampunky in Alera if we do that. But, uh, right here. Specifically, is Lash coming back? Specifically, is Lash coming back? Not Lash. Uh, uh, Lash actually appeared in Ghost Story, although not under that name. Oh! Right here. I'm not gonna tell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, yes, yes. <laughs> Man, that is like heroin for writers. Right? <laughs> uh, but, uh, right um, are we ever going to hear more about the Oblivion War? Are we ever gonna hear more about the Oblivion War? Probably not in the Dresden Files because uh, you know Harry's not involved. Uh, it's something that we might, I might do some more, I might do some more work with. Although it's sort of a slow, boring war that takes you know thousands of years at this point to get anything done. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if it's boring. I mean, my, my wife's heavily armed. <laughs> Uh, uh, back here with the camera. Yes. Is that as regarding Lash? Is that why the Whisper was allowed to be where she was? Exactly. Yes. I, it, question does not compute. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. um, right here. Was Little Chicago destroyed with Harry's apartment? Was Little Chicago destroyed with Harry's apartment? Um, yeah, certainly looks that way. Giant burning house falls apart. <laughs> the pewter model of the city. Uh, uh, pewter doesn't really stand up to being in a burning house all that well. So, uh, right here. Do you believe in magic? Do I believe in magic? Okay. I believe that there are more things in heaven and earth than in your books, Horatio. <laughs> I do not know exactly where it is. I do not know if uh, magic is really advanced science. Uh, or really advanced science is magic, and uh, I'm not sure I care. I'm, I'm just glad that there are things in the world that we haven't seen and measured and cataloged, uh, uh, and I'm perfectly happy with leaving it right there. Uh, uh, myself, personally, uh, I do have faith of my own. It isn't particularly wicked uh, uh, at all, really, and, but uh, I know people who do very sincerely believe in it and people I respect. Um, but uh, for me, myself, yeah, I think there's I think there's lots of things going on that we don't understand yet, uh, uh, and if that's what magic is, then okay, I, I can I can live with that. I like I hear that. Go away, I have a dead one. Will we see Ivy and Kincaid again soon? Uh, probably not. I need to write uh, uh, I need to write the, the the short story of Kincaid coming home after that job. Uh, oh, it's very back. Although he didn't technically serve as a winter knight, is Harry's debt to Mab fulfilled? Is Harry's debt to Mab fulfilled? No, it is not. <laughs> you don't get away from Mab that easy. I mean, merely being dead? Come on. <laughs> like no one's ever tried that before. <laughs> uh, with the camera right here. Is uh, Harry a, a Cubs fan or a White Sox fan? Is Harry a Cubs fan or a White Sox fan? Uh, uh, according to the short story in Changes, Harry is a Cubs fan. Oh. Uh, and he often uh, goes there with a, with a, basically a king of the leprechauns and uh, to watch a game, so. Uh, uh, see, because like Harry, the Cubs just, they can be doing so well and then things just <laughs> You know, I think there's some, some, some simpatico going there. Uh, green shirt right here. Um, have you considered doing any middle grade or young adult writing, either as a Dresden spin-off or as an original series? Have I considered doing any uh, middle grade or young adult writing as a Dresden spin-off or, or uh, uh, as a part of the Dresden series? I haven't really. Um, uh, uh, I mean, there's there's one story that I'm writing for for uh, I'm writing a trilogy of short stories right now that I'm calling the Bigfoot trilogy, uh, where Bigfoot is the client. And uh, he's having some issues with his kid, and he can't exactly walk into Chicago and straighten things out with the principal. Uh, uh, so he hires Harry to help. And you know, the first one is B is for Bigfoot, because uh, the kid's in grade school, and the next one, the kid's in high school, and it's uh, uh, I was a teenage Bigfoot. 
<laughs> and then the last one is in college, and it'll be Bigfoot on campus. You know, so. <laughs> but that's about as close as I'm going to be able to come to young adult is to have that setting there. Uh, right here in the Airborne. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So, Archangel, um, is the people behind the destruction of Archangel, are they dead? And will we see their comeuppance at any point? Um, that's going to be another I'm not going to tell you question. Because <laughs> uh, it's more fun to find out about it uh, uh, in, the, in the books than it is for me to just flat out tell you here. Uh, uh, in the Ghostbuster shirt. Um, did you mean to include the author's note at the end of the last two Dresden files ones that refer to Codex Alera, or was that uh, like an unintentional printing error type? Of thing? Oh, that was completely me. <laughs> Look, I just took that bullet for you, Ann. Uh. <laughs> oh, uh, everybody over here with the curly hair, this is my boss, Ann Sowards. <laughs> Uh, it's, 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 it's just a cross-promotional thing, so that people who don't know that I've got something else out there will have a chance to find out that I do. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, you know, I, I didn't, wasn't really bothered that it was still there. Uh, it's still true. Uh, just that Alara, I'm done with it for the time being. Uh, back here at the very back. Um, are we going to see the Jade Court at any point? Are we going to see the Jade Court at any point? Maybe a little in the big old uh, honkin' apocalyptic trilogy at the end. Uh, uh, they're, they're, they're isolationists, and if you, you know, they, they're, they're going to stay where they are. And if you're doing things that aren't actually happening in China, they just don't care about you. So, uh, here in the, with the hat, the black and white hat. Um, are we going to see more of Maggie? Is she a witch? Are we going to see more of Maggie and is she a witch? We will see more of Maggie, and I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she's definitely going to be... Uh, part of what's going on, and, and if I ever need to write Dresden in the next generation, it would probably be something about the next generation. Uh, right here. Um, about how Lurkey's dad killed himself in the books, yeah. was that despair forced on him? Uh, about how Murphy's dad killed himself in the books, was that despair forced on him? Who says he killed himself? Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's what Harry knows. You know, they just found him there, and, and it looked like a suicide. <laughs> Come on, I said this I said this in Kansas City and, and they, they had the video of it up on YouTube like five minutes after I was done talking. <laughs> right here. Um, so the swords, they showed up during the fighting changes uh, a little bit. Um, and they were sort of like mentioned in the book, but it's not like they were mentioned. But are we gonna see new bearers of the sword uh, in the future uh, anytime soon? Are we gonna see new bearers of the swords in the future anytime soon? Uh, you are gonna see them. Maybe not the next book, but the one after. Fifteen, maybe. Yeah, fifteen will be the, book, will be the point where it happens. Um, right here. In the previous books, Odin showed up. Are any of the other pantheons going to make an appearance? Yes, they are. Um, the, that kind of question is is the reason why I say uh, now that I've now that I killed Dresden, we can do the fun stuff. <laughs> uh, uh, right here. Trying not for any spoilers, but next time Murphy sees Dresden, uh, what's her general reaction going to be? Uh, next time Murphy sees Dresden, what's her general reaction going to be? You've got to know better than that. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I can only sing so much. I'm not going to tell you. Uh, in the Yankee sound. Are we going to see Dresden on the bigger small screen ever again? I am willing to forgive Hollywood. <laughs> um, or the Sorcerer's Apprentice. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you take the, the trailer poster and the, the first Dresden comic cover and hold them up next to each other, just saying. Um, uh, uh, and, and, and the TV show was actually something that I, it was a glass half full for me. Uh, uh, you know, an optimist thinks the glass is half full, a pessimist thinks it's half empty, and an engineer thinks it's over-designed by 100%. <laughs> but uh, uh, I, I, was, I, was, I was kind of getting into what they were doing. I thought they were doing a better job as they went on. Uh, I thought it would have been really interesting to see what they did in the future. Uh, 
On the other hand, though, the show did get canceled, and, and, and still being positive, it got canceled before they could do anything completely squirrely. Right. <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm certainly willing to talk to them about it again, and there's almost always interest and, and people asking questions and making inquiries. Uh, uh, but it's Hollywood, so nothing is certain until the check clears. Uh, and, and literally, until the check clears, just having it isn't good enough. Uh, right here. Tell us Brother Gruff and his other brothers. Are we going to see that facet of the course? Well, we see the Gruffs again. Uh, uh, yes, probably in cold days. But uh, here are the glasses. Um, the race compound, um, do, do they, is it next to like a brush? <laughs> is the Wraith Compound next to Oprah? I, I don't even know where Oprah lives. I, 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 I don't know. Uh, uh, I, I would think probably no, because, you know, I, I don't know that they would, they would want all the company, but... Uh, uh, right here. Yeah. Okay. My friend here went to Otacon, and apparently Harry dropped into our world. Oh, found a, a Dresden business card? Yeah. Yeah, there's, a, there's some around, yeah. We, we actually called him. It was static. It was static. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and a little creepy. That's a little Yeah, right here. Do you now regret the end changes? Do I now regret the end of changes? Oh, no. <laughs> Those people work for me. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> uh, 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 back here, a uh, uh, white shirt. How much are we going to see the Never Never in the next book? How much are we going to see the Never Never in the next book? Quite a bit. Uh, okay, so what's next? Um, panel hat. Um, a couple of years ago, you discussed having a sci-fi series where you left the protagonist in a cliffhanger that you wanted to get back to. Will you be doing that? Um, he's going to hang there a while longer. <laughs> uh, I went back and read it. It wasn't nearly as clever as I thought it was at the, as I thought it was at the time. So. Uh, I need to plan out a few things. I actually went and read some books about the things that are actually coming ahead, uh, like science, fic science fiction writers are supposed to do. And uh, uh, yeah, I think I have to do a little bit more thinking before I can go back there again and actually have some credible science fiction. But, are we going to see anything with, uh, with Mac in terms of his backstory? And is Mac a Norse god? <laughs> are we going to see anything with Mac in terms of backstory? And is Mac a Norse god? No, he's not a Norse god. <laughs> yes, we will find out more about it. Um, right here. Um, at the end of changes, Harry had a memory blank. Are we ever going to be going to find out what got blanked out? Um, no, on account of it wasn't inflicted by anybody else. He did it to himself. Uh, uh, right here, black, uh, black and white hat. Um, um, are who? Um, oh, Fix and Harry? Yeah. Are, are they, are they, are they going to go toe-to-toe? -to -toe? Uh, maybe. Uh, uh, and, uh, and Fix is a lot better at doing his night stuff than uh, Dresden will be. Because, uh, so, you know, I mean, sure, hand Harry a bunch of new power. You just know that means he's going to get beaten up harder. That's really, <laughs> that's really what it's there for, you know? Uh, uh, in the back with the blonde hair. Uh, the Cottage on Demon Reach will be will we be seeing more things that take place there? Yes. Uh, is it similar to the college at the fairy the cottage that the fairy queens live in? Uh, no, not really. There, theirs is much more gingerbread y. <laughs> uh, let's see, right here, blue shirt. Um, I was just wondering, are we going to learn more about the white court anytime soon? Like, can humans become a white court vampire or any details like that? Um, are we going to find out about the white court anytime soon? Can humans become a white court vampire? Uh, the answer to that is we will find some more about them probably next, not, not the next book, but the one after, or maybe the one after that. Uh, as far as humans becoming one, no, you've got to be born that way. Okay. Uh, right here, Blue Shirt. It's been mentioned that the, the timing of Harry's birth is important, and you've also mentioned that it's important who Harry's parents are. Was the timing of Elaine's birth intentional, and are we going to learn more about her parents? Uh, was the timing of Elaine's birth intentional uh, the, way, the way Harry's was, and are we going to learn more about her parents? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> uh, back here, green shirt again. Um, are you going to be doing any more original comic stories like Welcome to the Jungle? Am I going to be doing any more original comic stories like Welcome to the Jungle? Yeah, I just outlined one called Ghoul Goblin, which will uh, 
be set between the end of full moon and the beginning of Great Pharaoh. Uh, actually, yeah, I got done outlining this like, wow, this is a really cool story. I should have written this as a book. <laughs> but it, it, it'll make a fine graphic novel, I think. Knock drinks around again. Right here. Will we ever be hearing from Lucio again? Yes, absolutely. Uh, she's too cool to get rid of. Uh, uh, you know, not when I can kill her horribly. <laughs> they actually asked me last night in, uh, in D.C. They, they wanted me to guarantee that I wasn't going to kill anybody else. And I'm like, are you kidding? <laughs> really? I killed, I killed this, the protagonist. No one can say it. <laughs> uh, can the same be said for Kamori? Uh, yeah, we can't get rid of her yet. Uh, uh, so, you know, yeah, not yet, no. you always go for the pain. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you, Buffy Geeks. Uh, <laughs> are we going to see uh, more of Ebenezer's response to what's going on and more from the Blackstaff? Um, both. Uh, next book. Uh, okay, right here. What informs your uh, need to hurt Harry so much? Where does that come from? <laughs> what informs my need to hurt Harry so much? Yeah, I mean, that, where does that come is from? Is it like a boss? Or okay, I've got to answer this question with a story. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Filming the last episode of, uh, of season two of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Sarah Michelle Gellar had to had to do the scene where she kills she, you know she kills Angel. She had to do that like what? five oh. or six times. <laughs> Spoilers. Well done, sir. Well done. <laughs> but she had to do the scene like five or six times. And at one point, uh, before they got they did the last shot uh, the, uh, of, of it, she comes up to Joss and tells him, "Do you have you know I'm a method actor. Do you, do you have any idea how horrible this is? How painful this is for me to keep doing this?" And uh, reportedly, uh, Whedon put his hand on her shoulder and said, "Sarah, this show thrives on your pain." <laughs> So my show, my show thrives on Harry Dresden's pain, not because I want to, you know, I want to put Dresden in pain, but because I want to put you in pain. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but that's why. Hey. Right. Any word on Harry's mother, and if she's not, if she's going to make it back, no, they did a good job on her. <laughs> uh, although they, they they didn't do a good enough job, as evidenced by the fact that her kids are, are wrecking people's plans left and right. So. Uh, over here on the left. Come back. How is it that Count Dracula survived Bram Stoker's big book of vampire slaying? He didn't. No, Dracul's still alive. Draculia is the little one. <laughs> yeah, that's the son of the dragon. And, um, get ready. Oh, uh, are we gonna are, are we gonna hear about the conditions that had to be met for Harry's father to show up and visit him in his subconscious? Harry could have been imagining that. I mean, I'm sure that was it's probably most of this is in his imagination. Probably, you know. I mean, sure, he's a wizard and all, but, you know, come on. His dad showing up to talk to him. Yeah, that's how lucky he is. Yeah. Very back in the, the plaid shirt. I'm assuming we're going to see more direct contact with Cal and or the Black Council. How soon are we going to see more direct contact with Cal or the Black Court? Next book. Black Council. Uh, yeah, next book. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll see them again. Actually, this will be really the first time that uh, I get to have them be... Uh, you know, more active than behind the scenes in terms of what role they're playing. So, okay, hear that? Okay, uh, for four, start with right here, glasses. Hi, um, your character, you have plenty of fallen angel characters. Uh, I was wondering if you have ever given any thought to really developing the whole idea of the angels in an overall sense. Uh, have ever, uh, I have a lot of fallen angel characters. Do I have uh, any thought of, of uh, uh, developing the whole angel notion a little bit more? Um, yeah, but they're they're kind of limited in terms of what they can do. You know, they can respond to they can respond if the bad guys cheat, 
but otherwise they mostly just kind of stand there and look menacing and, and, and the fallen just don't mess with them unless somebody's got an actual plan going on. Uh, uh, you know, angels slugging it out with one another could, you know, could potentially blow up planets. You know, that, that's the kind of level of power that angels are. I mean, they're just, they're just off the scale of what anything Dresden can do. Um, but, but so they're they're sort of they're sort of uh, more observers than anything else. And uh, uh, you know, occasionally they will be the one who says, "Hey, could you stand outside the door until my child grows up and is safe?" Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> it's not a big deal for one of them. Uh, let's see, uh, uh, red hair beard. Um, are, are there any fallen angels who are not nickelheads? Are there any fallen angels who are not nickelheads? Plenty, including Lucifer. Okay, right here, blue shirt. How did you decide on or come up with uh, Leonanchi to be his uh, fairy godmother? How did I come up with Leonanchi as his fairy as his fairy godmother? Um, uh, I looked her up. I thought she was cool. I thought it was a great idea to have a character who had sort of made her bones in the ferrying business uh, uh, by uh, working with, you know, to, to inspire these poor artists and, and singers and, and, and playwrights uh, uh, in exchange for draining their blood. I thought that was a great place. <laughs> you know, for a fairy godmother to start, you know, you want, you want, if you're going to give your wizard a fairy, you're planning on throwing him into the grinder over and over, you want to give him a fairy godmother with tea. <laughs> so I wasn't gonna go, gonna go with some wimpy, you know, some wimpy sunlight fairy. Uh, uh, no way. We, we can do better than that. Okay, last one. Half the buttons. Um, what if anything could threaten the carpenter household? Right now? What if anything could threaten the carpenter household right now? Nothing much. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, nothing much. Michael's got a dozen angels on uh, secu constant security detail. He's he's fine. There's one that goes with each kid when they go to school. <laughs> it's ridiculous around there. And then they and they've also got you know they've also got mouse uh, 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 there to keep, to keep track of things. Plus they've got like the biggest they've got like the biggest threshold in the entire uh, world you know for, for that kind of thing. So. <laughs> yeah, well, well, Mr. Yeah, Mr. could threaten the house, you're right. <laughs> Mr. walk right up, walk right through all the defenses, you know, pop mouse on the nose, mouse would walk away. <laughs> I give, I give, come on, it's not worth it, mister. <laughs> That's right, give me your food. <laughs> okay, guys, if there are other questions, uh, and you can ask them uh, uh, in, fa in fairly short order, uh, uh, feel free to ask them when you come up to the signing. And uh, thank you for putting up with me, and we'll get some books signed. <laughs>